Is there like one pixel that I can use? No. All right, so it's going to have to go in here. Or at least this is clear. But as far as I can tell, it's going to saturate this entire thing. Which means we have enough silica. That also means that this storage, all this stuff is being burnt up. Not quite yet, but... We are getting enough silica, so that means lots of aluminum. In fact, at this point in time, I could probably overclock this. Just so we can get that extra aluminum out, because we do need to burn it up. And why isn't this getting enough silica? Because it's just not. Oh, well, just in case. Like, let's just do this now. Okay, I think we're done here. Down to 76%. Uh, should we get more biomass? I think not. So, we're pretty much done here. Like, we're getting a lot more aluminum now. And before I go... Go ahead and secure this hydrogen. Or what is it again? It's like one of the elements. Nitrogen. It's like I keep forgetting what these things are. Uh, what I want to do is get uh, one of these, except we don't have enough motors. So I'm going to check this inventory here. There might be some motors that I can use here but if there's if not then oh here we go yeah so I can build a re uh, the resource well pressurizer and that's what we need to use to get stuff out of here oh this doesn't have any outputs let's power this up Okay, let's put all of these things now. There's an activated fracking satellite node. Isn't this activated? Yes, it is. Alright, so let's get a uh, fluid buffer here. Here comes the autosave. Come on. Come on, damn it. Oh, what the? Okay, so I aimed at the sky when that finished. Nice. Okay, so at this point, you know what? I want to... The power line over here. Let's bring a power pole here.
and bring this over here. There we go. So what I'm thinking of doing is, uh, but we're going to need like a silica line going from the swamp area over there to here. But what I want to do right here. Oh, what the hell? That my fluid buffer was added there. So stackable conveyor pole should be on five. Put that there. And actually, should be up here. Want the stackable pipeline this way. So I'm just going to put this like right here. I do need fluid buffers over here. Just line this up. Two should be good enough. And then where are you? The blind support goes like right over here. Stackable pipeline right over here. And then I'll just have a vertical section. Or I think it, that would be better if we did this. So, at this point in time, let's get the resource well extractors, like, as many of them online as possible. I think that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. So let's get the cross junctions online. I wasn't exactly planning on doing this, but now that I'm here and I remembered that I have this research, might as well just do it. Why are you facing that direction? Yeah, I want you over here. But this is also only 600 per second. Or 600 per minute. So we're probably going to have to bring two pipelines to fully maximize this. But I think we can get away with like one for the time being. 120, 240, 360, 480, 600. I think this is it.
Yeah, so if we want to exploit the other five over there, we're gonna need another pipeline. Uh, might as well just get it ready for the time being. And actually... Oh, we should get rid of this as well. Might as well just get this ready. In case we do need to use this. Okay, so we're we have nitrogen gas. We have a little bit of it going. But at the very least, let's prepare it for the next play session because I don't really want to do this entire thing like today. Let's do it another time. Okay, at least let's bring it over here. Except I can't afford it anymore. Okay. Well, that's all I'm doing today. And we don't have enough plastic. Okay. So, I think that's it for this play session. Got a lot of stuff done. But I still have... To, I have five purple slugs in my inventory. Oh my god. Let's head back to base. Wait, let me just check our storage first. <laughs> Before I forget. This middle storage is filling up. So we do have... Like... A surplus of... Silica being produced. Even with the overclocking. But I also have to take care of our power needs in the next play session because we are running at a deficit. Like, everything will continue running normally for a while, but I need to address it soon. That will happen in the next play session. Should also check the stockpile of the stuff that I'm now producing. Like, we did get three items, like, earlier on. It was the uh, crystal oscillators, the high-speed connectors, and the radio control units. Those are all automated, and we're building a stockpile of those. I also got the cables, added those 12 refineries for the copper ingots. Now we're getting a lot of cables. And I think we're running a surplus as well. Or, wait, maybe not. This all looks drained. Or is maybe it's all in that container over there. I'll have to check the line over here. Yeah, it looks like we have plenty of cables. All going in here. Well, all the well, it's full here, but not at the end over there. Where it's like getting split. Oh yeah, one other thing. I need to get rid of these storages. Since we're not storing stuff anymore. Come on. Now, if I'm correct, I only need, like, one of these storages at this point. So I'm just gonna dismantle all of this stuff. just connected like this so 
so once the storage is for the adaptive control units fills up uh this it'll all get backed up here as well and we only need this amount this single storage worth of automated wiring to finish up everything and the versatile frameworks are done so we don't need to build any more of those same thing with the smart plating so everything left in that storage is all we really need or actually we don't need it anymore because we have the modular engines over here and we just need this amount plus whatever's in So anyway, this is still going. The crystal oscillators still running. Everything's still maxed out in these machines. We have our own personal stockpile here. Oh, and the crystal oscillators are already being injected into the radio control units. So, this is fine. And we are fully stocked in here. And this is almost filled up. Now, I don't know how many radio control units we're going to need to finish project assembly. So, I'll just continue having these. And then we have the high speed connectors. Like, it looks like it's fully saturated when it comes to the quick wire. Uh, pretty much everything, really. And how much do we have? Well, we have half a container of this, and this is all pulled up, so... Everything we need for the rest of the project assembly parts is going to fill up in here. I don't think we need that many, but... This is all full. So it's all good. And then AI limiters, like, we might need more of these. I think I should just add another container of this, just in case. Instead of letting this go idle, like, might as well do more work in the meantime. Also, top off this stuff here. Can I get this thing here? There we go. And that should do it. So fill up that third storage. And I think we're good for this play session. So we're out of cluster bombs at this point, so gonna have to go over to the oil producing area the oil refining area and get ourselves some uh, smokeless powder so we can get some more cluster bombs going now this is completely full and it looks like we're still producing more of this or actually we're going through it excuse me See, this is why I wanted all eight of these we only filled it to like Five and a half, I believe, but we're going through it all. And we are completely full on these sheets here. So it's pretty much just filling up the aluminum casings at this point. I think that's it. So go ahead, put our resources in here. You know what, let's just top off this single stack and then we have a lot of encased industrial beams here so we'll just put in here now. Yeah, I think 
Everything is good is in a good spot at this point in time. We just need to deal with our power right now, because right now it is at 70%, but we're good. So the next play session will probably deal with nitrogen, bring it back to base, because we do need it for the fused modular frames. But I actually need those uh, recipes at this point. So I should probably start working on uh, running those hard drives now. Because since I can get the fused modular frames at this point. And in fact, I need to get rid of these computers. Like, I've been carrying these around for so long. Like, I don't need that many. I also don't need the silica. Wow. Okay, so let's process everything that we got. We got our slugs, wherever you are. Come on. Power shards. Like, I found five purple slugs. Like five of them. So that's another 25 power shards and then another blue slug. Also, need to keep in mind that I am overclocking my fuel generators. So we need to build more fuel generators, but at the same time, we also need to make sure we don't run out of fuel. Like, depend on that too much because otherwise, we are so screwed. Okay, I'm just gonna fill up on these basic resources again. E3. Uh, top these off. Probably make it four. Pop off our wires. Cables, get another stack as well. Okay, let's stack that. Top up on that. Yeah, we need to do something about our explosives. Okay, we really got one stack. Reload our concrete. It's modular frames. Pop that off. Then get more of these aluminum sheets. We're going to need lots of them. We're going to be replacing a lot. And I'm just going to leave... This uh, inventory space empty. Let's also get some plastic. How about plastic and rubber? Like, we only need one stack of it. Let's just leave it like that. Then our rubber is like. Let's just get the rubber from up here. Yeah, there we go. Or, no, we don't need that much. You can keep it. And then motors back down here. So it looks like this is all filled up at this point. So it's good call on getting those extra three storages. Because we're going to need it for later. All right, I think we're done. Like our automated wiring is just going to continue to be made. I probably should check this now. Uh, wait. Adaptive control units. That's what I'm looking for. It's over here somewhere. Really should check this. Because this is the part that gave me the most problems. Like in the previous play uh, playthrough. Slowly filling that up. I'd say about 60%. We have like 60% of what we need at this point. Oh, and before I forget, might as well just overclock these, shouldn't we? Or wait, no. No, we shouldn't. You need upgrades. You know what? Yeah. 
Like, this is just slowing things down. Like, let's at least make the cables go fast. Because really, the cables should be going fast. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Cables go really fast. So now these should be saturated with cables or at least getting there. So what I want to do... I guess since all the resources are going here, it might as well just overclock these. So instead of putting a power, sh uh, a power shard in nine of these, why don't I just put nine power shards in three of these, max it out, since this is getting the most resources. And that'll get done much faster. Probably should also clean this up. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright, I think we're done here. Let me just check this real quick. So we have about three hours to address the power problems. And I'm thinking maybe let's expand coal power. Let's go back to the crater area over here. Add more coal power plants. Or maybe go a little bit further. Go a little bit further over here. There's some coal. There's a pure coal node right over here. Maybe we can take that. Get some more coal power going without having to overclock anything. All right, at this point in time, uh, let's get rid of the batteries, heat sinks. Like what else? Oh, we don't need this. Don't need this. Oh, I need to process the food here. Hog protein, stinger protein, spitter proteins. Like, let's just get rid of that. I believe I forgot that. And then we'll be done. Go, go, go. Delicious alien protein. And then we just need to put it in here and it'll process it all by itself. Alright, I think we're good to go for this next play session. Alright, let's go into their bathroom. Take a break. Let's save this. We're at... Where are we at? I guess nitrogen. All right, saved. All right, that'll do it. Thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you next time. Take care and be safe out there.